Hello, welcome back. This is Future Nice. I had to break up the previous episode, and so I'm just recording a little intro in here so it's not uh, too jarring. But uh, last time on Shulker Farm, I was gathering materials and I was talking about how I, I needed some terracotta and didn't want to just destroy everything, but didn't also didn't want to just build a farm. So anyway, we will rejoin our exciting hero, Nice, as he flies out to find a Badlands. Bye, guys. So here we are in a Badlands uh, biome. Pretty big one. Uh, I think just with the new world generation, these can be a lot bigger. Um, but what I want to do is, you notice that you know you have these nice layers of uh, colored terracottas and things, some red sands and everything like that. So what I only need uh, maybe a shulker box or two of uh, dyed terracottas. So what I'm going to do is go over to this wooded badlands here. I'm going to make a door <laughs> and then I'm just going to start kind of strip mining out an area that the only thing that will be visible at the end will just be this door here and I'm everything that I'm going to mine out is going to be not at the surface so I'm not going to like entirely take out like everything on here so I'm gonna do that and get what I need, and we can finally get around to working on the shulker farm. Piece of cake. That's all done. Shut the door. There is all the terracotta. I just need to dye everything, but I need to pick up my leftovers. There, not too bad. While gathering everything, I had a rather unfortunate bug happen to me. If you look at my current gear, it's some uh, old stuff that I had laying around. While going to the end, I had an error that you sometimes see that says like flying's not allowed like on your server or something like that. But when I logged back in and went to the end portal, or I was already through the end portal when I logged back in, and but I was not at the end island. I was out at the outer islands. I was at the same coordinates that the end portal was, but in the end and already falling into the void and taking damage. So I wasn't recording while I did that, but... This is some replay footage. You can see me drop down uh, straight, and then I start to fly, but at that point, uh, it was too late. Back presently, I am remaking all my gear. I don't have uh, a good set of backups, something that is on the to-do list. So I've gone and collected. I've depleted a lot of my uh, netherite uh, reserves. But I'm going to go out to an EXP farm and build up all my gear. And I got to come up with new names for everything now, too. But um, after that, I'm almost completed with the uh, item, with the resource collection. So we can get on with the build after I get cured up again. Hopefully that uh, error doesn't happen again. That was uh, rather uh crushing it was like one of the first times i had i've had that happen where i've lost something that wasn't um you know directly my fault for being dumb <laughs> or getting in a situation that i uh shouldn't have been in but uh man yeah it sucks uh i'll see you after i get re-geared all right got all my gear set up again and Got all the items that I need, and also it's been a couple days since I recorded. I finished, I reorganized the item sorter, and I added all the new wood down here. Yeah, 
mangrove, and then I have spots for the cherry, which is coming, and bamboo, and everything like that. And then I add bricks and mud, and I added, what did I add on the other side? That I didn't have. Ah. Over here was, what did I add? Oh yeah, all the, uh, the skull. That's not the right spot. But, alright, now, to head out to the end, is where I'm going to do a single dimension uh, shulker farm because I am very, running quite low. Only have a few spare shulker boxes that are, I don't know where all the other ones are at. They might be on other projects or something like that, but time to head out to the end and build this monster. Bye. we go farm is complete it uh had a couple changes after i got started with uh building everything fly up and through here i'll talk a bit about the design choices i did and i had the idea to make a shulker farm um design like for an exterior i spent some time trying to figure out try to play with uh shulker farm mechanics like the actual uh it's too loud over here. I'm going to back up a bit. Actual uh, designing my own farm. Uh, I really liked Etho's design uh, from like a year or two ago with like the reactor and flowing up and down. I played around with some stuff, but I really, I didn't come up with anything new or interesting. And I found a, a design uh, that I just really liked. And I, uh... all right, I had to look up who it was uh that design the red the original design and it's uh by a guy named ending credits i'll drop a link in the comments 
But since I couldn't make something interesting about the farm itself, I wanted to make an interesting cover for it. And I kind of screwed that up too. I initially had this uh, large uh, shulker, dead shulker here, designed. kind of wanted it to be kind of breaking apart. Uh, if you look at like living uh, organisms that have shells like clams or uh, mussels or things like that, they usually have a, an interior like a dead portion that's like the structure. Then they have like a living portion of the outer shell. And when they die, like sometimes these separate. Normally, like this is what you find fossilized, this inner inner layer uh, here. And so I wanted to have it not just be a box also. So I played around with world edit for the first time, and I'm not good at it. And uh, had to try to rotate and do a cube and, and do a bunch of stuff. And picked uh, some real uh, pain-in-the-butt blocks to use too. But I carried the design from a shulker. Do I have any on me? No. Let me get inside here. So a shulker box has like this kind of zigzag pattern. And so I had to kind of extrapolate out what that actually was. And then I thought that that would carry on through the inside as well. So you can see that design kind of going back and forth here on the interior. As well as the exterior, you have this design coming back and back and around and everything. And for my own, like a uh, head cannon for how the end works, is uh, I think it's ambient noise. Is uh, that the this breaks down in like shulker material breaks down into endstone, and the uh, Endermen kind of use the shell material to to work to make purple blocks. The, uh, maybe the, uh, the chorus fruit like grows like out of it or something like that. And these end islands are just like the remnants of like these old giant shulkers. And all that's left now are the little, uh, little guys. Hey, I got a hole here. Can I get in here? I can. All right. Um, let me see. So I'll show you the actual farm itself. There's two ways, to, uh, one way is to access the actual farm. It's down here, and I made a little basement underneath here. Oh, my, my mistake, my mistake in making it. One second. So I initially planned to have the farm all in here, and the farm itself would just be in here. And I made a misunderstanding of how shulker, shulkers teleport. I thought their teleportation was like in a, like a sphere, but it's not, and it's in a rectangle, and so... After I designed all of this up, it uh, it wouldn't work because they could just teleport to the outside. It just became a big mess. Uh, and trying in creative mode, uh, creative uh, copy of the the world. So instead of redesigning it, and making it bigger, which was already way too big, I uh, decided to move everything underground. And then it also gave me the opportunity to make a dead uh, shulker uh, head, like the center part. Uh, inside here so I'll show the actual farm I'm gonna actually turn down hostile creatures even more because there are a ton of them down there and I made a change from the time-lapse too. I made a little uh, modification to make things a little bit easier so I don't want to go down too far down into the farm but here it is you'll see them coming up and uh, warping around this is a really ingenious single dimension farm. Uh, works with scaffolding because like scaffolding is transparent from one direction. So they are teleporting up and then they basically have to be redirected into the spot and then they're duplicating from the spot. But the change I added, uh, oh, I guess I can show you the interior too here. So the interior is also the same sort of design that the, like the shell uh, design from the shulker. So you have the zigzag pattern and how, where they separate at. So the, Inside here is also another shulker, and then you know this is kind of you know the head, but not really looks like the the head portion. But um, and I really like the on the bottom of the shulker has like this spiral. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I got glad I got to incorporate that into the build. But um, there was a chest here in the build, and even if you come down here, uh, all the shulkers start attacking you, and it's uh <laughs> like you have to run in and run out. So I uh, changed it. 
and I put a dispenser and a water column that um, just shoots like everything up. And so you don't really have to go down here. You can just stand above it. The farm still runs, no, no problem. So while I've been, uh, while I made the top portion of here, the, the farm was already running. And I have two shulkers full of <laughs> shulker shells. And then on top of that, uh, I have this. So um, in classic, uh, nice uh, form that this is probably going to be, I probably won't have to come out here very often. I, 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 I say now that I, you know, with this many, I can just leave shulker boxes all over the place and not really care about them, which is great. But I had fun uh, with the build. I'm going to grab this stuff and then uh, going to go back. I need to make sure I don't look at that guy off in front of me. But um, yeah, I'm going to go back to uh, our base and then uh, give my results to the uh, the House of Wit, the Council of Wit, and then figure out what our, what our next uh, project is going to be. So even with the uh, Distant Horizons mod, even with the... Uh, even from the Central End Island, you can see... <laughs> the the farm way out there. It'd be nice if it looked a little bit better, but whatever. Can't be beggars. Can't be choosers. All right, so here we are back. Smack into the stairs, and here we are to report. Nice. Yeah. I have done as you asked. We have basically unlimited shulkers. And now, I guess I ask, <laughs> what is your next bidding? So I just realized something. I needed a... So I, I kept the, the the piece of paper that says shulker farms at the nitwits. And I want to have a box somewhere that when I'm done with a task, I can put those completed tasks and I just have a record of, you know, the things that have been done. So I'm going to grab a chest. And I guess I'm going to put it... Let's see, oh, over here, or maybe do I have a, maybe I can put it right here. That looks good. I need to decorate this up a little bit better here. Maybe put some signs on the, or pictures on the wall or something. But here we have the Shulker Farm request. Put that in there. Yeah, put a sign there. It says completed task. That's what I'll do. I got signs right over here. Mm-hmm. Completed task. Perfect. All right, now let's see what the next task will be. Okay. Dripstone farm. All right, all right, guys. I uh, I got a place in mind for that. I'll take my shulker boxes and and head out. I'll uh. See you guys next time when uh, I get to make, make some progress on this new task. Bye-bye. Oh, and one more thing. If the last part of this audio sounds different, it's because I'm in my own office now. I've got moved out of the uh, recording, old recording area that I had and got my office all set up, new computer. Everything's all nice and uh, shiny. So it might be a little bit echoey down here. I'm still, you know, putting some stuff on the walls and getting rid of echoes and things. But hopefully I can make stuff uh, a little bit more regularly. Bye.